welcome to my black door today we are going to discuss a very interesting and the very complex topic and that is about synthesis of the viral messenger rna basically we are discussing about the replications of the virus in the previous lecture we discussed the early event of the replication basically you will see the three event early event middle event and the late event we have discussed early event in the previous lecture and in early event we discussed the three most important phases that is the attachment of the virus that how virus attached to the host cell and after that you will see how virus penetrate into the host cell and after you see how virus encode itself inside the host cell and that is actually the removal of the capsid and the release of the genome into the cytoplasm that actually all fall in the early event but now we are going to discuss middle event and specifically the most important phase of the middle event is the viral messenger rna synthesis that how virus synthesize its own messenger rna so before we discuss the synthesis of the messenger rna we will first discuss the polymerase either dna or rna so if you see that dna dependent whenever you listen the word dna dependent it's mean that synthesis of the dna or rna from the dna that's the most important thing okay so you see first one is the dna dependent dna polymerase now when you see the second word it's mean that you are going to make that one that word that actually attached to the polymerase it's mean the word that attached to the polymerase is the dna that it's mean that you will make the dna okay and in this uh, first case that is dependent uh, beside the dependent you see the word dna it's mean you are going to make dna from the dna that is actually called the dna dependent dna polymerase that is the one okay when you make the rna from the dna then you will say that that polymerase is the dna dependent rna polymerase that's the most important thing. similarly in case of rna if you make the rna from the rna you will say rna dependent rna polymerase okay when you make the dna from the rna it's mean that that is the rna dependent dna polymerase that's the most important thing the synthesis of the rna from the dna that's the normal process that actually happens in the transcription basically that is normal process transcription when you synthesize the dna from the rna that is opposite okay in normal process happens that uh, dna forms the rna so that is process that actually the normal process and that is called transcription okay when you see the synthesis of the dna from the rna that is the reverse so that's why it is called the reverse transcriptase or transcription okay that it it's mean that when you synthesize the dna from the rna that is the reverse transcription okay or you can say this enzyme is actually the rna dependent dna polymerase is actually the reverse transcriptase enzyme so that's the most important process okay so if you see here first of all the virus attach penetrate and uncaught in the host cell okay and ultimately the genome released into the host cells okay now actually the polymerase enzyme present in the nucleus of the host basically this is the nucleus so polymerase enzyme present in the nucleus so actually this genome will enter into the nucleus for the synthesis of its messenger rna okay that's a normal process because you will see the dna form the rna and that process is actually the transcription and from the rna you will see the synthesis of the proteins and that process is the translation two process transcription synthesis of the d uh, mrna from the dna 
and synthesis of the proteins from the RNA that is translation. Okay, that's the normal process. Okay. If we revise the polymerase or, or if we understand this concept polymerase into another form, then you will see DNA has two options. DNA can form the DNA, DNA can form the RNA. Whenever the DNA form the DNA, what type of polymerase it required? It required the DNA dependent DNA polymerase. You will see the synthesis of the DNA from the DNA. And when the DNA form the RNA, it required what type of enzyme it required? It required the DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Okay, that's the normal process. Okay. So again, similarly, RNA has two options. RNA can form the RNA, RNA can form the DNA. Whenever RNA form the RNA, what type of polymerase it required? It required the RNA dependent RNA polymerase. Okay. Similarly, when RNA formed the DNA, it required the RNA dependent DNA polymerase. When the words come along with the polymerase, it means that you are going to make that compound. If I say RNA polymerase, you are going to make RNA. When DNA polymerase, you are going to make DNA. But the, when the word comes beside the dependent, it means that that compound will form the another compound either DNA or RNA. Okay. So that's the most important thing. Okay. Ultimately, our main focus is the synthesis of the messenger RNA. Okay. We in this lecture, we will focus on only the DNA viruses. In upcoming lecture, we will see the RNA viruses. So in the DNA virus, again, DNA virus has two options. It can be single stranded DNA or double stranded DNA molecule. Okay. So, as we have discussed, that the synthesis of the messenger RNA happens in the nucleus, but there is an exception in this case. So, if you see single stranded DNA, okay, that in this case you will see the synthesis of the messenger RNA happens in the nucleus of the host. That's uh, that's the similar process. Okay. But the DNA uh, double stranded DNA molecule has two options. There are some viruses that form the messenger RNA in the nucleus. And there is an exception that happens that that messenger RNA forms in the cytoplasm. This is an exceptional case. Okay. Exception. Okay. This is the case one. Okay. So, there are uh, again we further categorize on the basis of the shape. So, there are two types of viruses. Uh, in this case, some viruses have circular DNA, some viruses have linear DNA. Again, in the cytoplasm, you see the, that virus have the linear DNA molecule. So, if we discuss first of all the single stranded DNA molecule, in which messenger RNA synthesis in the nucleus. The most example is the parvovirus. Parvovirus is the most important example. Parvovirus is actually the single stranded DNA molecules. Okay. So if you see here, this is the single stranded DNA molecule. Okay. This is the single stranded DNA molecule. So, from the single stranded DNA, you will see the synthesis of the, you will see the synthesis of the double stranded molecule. Here is the first strand of the DNA and here is the second strand of the DNA. Okay. Now, this is actually the double stranded DNA molecule. Now, it required the polymerase. What type of polymerase? It required the DNA dependent DNA polymerase. Because you will synthesize the DNA from the DNA that is called DNA dependent DNA polymerase. Okay, that is DNA dependent DNA polymerase that actually present in the host cells. Okay, just keep one thing in mind. DNA dependent or DNA dependent polymerase. Uh, present in the host cell okay this one 
so it's mean that those viruses that depend on the dna dependent dna polymerase or dna dependent rna polymerase they do not require any polymerase they get the polymerase from the host cell so actually dna dependent dna polymerase comes from the host cells okay and next after that from the double stranded dna you will see the synthesis of the messenger rna synthesis of the messenger rna and that is messenger rna now what type of polymerase it required you people tell me so actually you are going to synthesize mrna messenger rna from the dna and it required the dna dependent rna polymerase so that's it dna dependent rna polymerase that's the most important thing that's the basic concept if you have a strong concept, you can easily tell whether the polymerase is present in the host or whether the uh, polymerase uh, enzyme uh, present in the uh, virus. So, now these polymerase actually present in the host cell. So, this virus do not have any polymerase because they can easily get the polymerase from the host cell. Okay. Next, if we discuss the double-stranded RNA that in which you will see the synthesis of the messenger RNA happens in the cytoplasm and the shape of this virus is the linear. What type of virus it is? It is actually the most important virus and that is the smallpox. Smallpox virus or there is another virus, Vaccinia virus. So here are basically the two viruses that actually fall in this category. Okay. This is actually the double standard. Okay. Strong concept. Focus on this word. This is actually the double stranded DNA. These viruses have double stranded DNA. Okay. That's the most important thing. Double stranded DNA. Okay. Next, this actually happens in the cytoplasm. That's the most important thing. And cytoplasm doesn't contain any polymerase. Polymerase present in the nucleus. So, it's mean that these viruses require its own polymerase. Okay. So, uh, our main focus is the synthesis of the messenger RNA. Messenger RNA. Okay. Here is the messenger RNA. So, that's the most important thing. It requires the DNA dependent RNA polymerase because we are going to synthesize the uh, RNA. So, it means that DNA dependent RNA polymerase, but where does actually this polymerase comes? This polymerase actually viral polymerase. It is not host polymerase. In this case, we see the host polymerase. This is, uh, these are basically the host polymerase that actually come from the host cell. But this, this polymerase is actually present in the virus. That is the viral DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Okay. Because this uh, replication of this uh, transcription actually happens in the cytoplasm and cytoplasm uh, doesn't contain any polymerase. Okay. That is an exception case. Okay. Next is the uh, double stranded DNA that actually happens, uh, transcription happens in the nucleus and again you see the two form, circular and the linear. So, what type of viruses that actually fall in the circular shape dna and two most important papilloma virus papilloma virus and the hepatitis b virus these are basically the two viruses that actually have circular shape dna and what type of viruses does uh, uh, does contain linear shape DNA. So, two most important virus, adenovirus, adenovirus and herpes virus. These are basically the two viruses, adenovirus, herpes virus. Okay. So, basically that transcription happens in the nucleus. Okay. They are actually double stranded. Okay. That's the most important thing. They are actually double stranded DNA molecule. Okay double stranded dna molecule okay and they form the messenger rna okay that is the most important thing you will see the synthesis of the messenger rna now the most important thing 
that polymerase actually present in the nucleus. So it, these viruses doesn't require any polymerase. They get the polymerase from the host. So ultimately, you will see DNA dependent RNA polymerase because you will see the synthesis of the messenger RNA from the DNA. That is DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Okay, now this is the normal process that actually happens in the R papilloma virus, hepatitis B virus, adeno, and herpes virus. But there is an exception, and that is about the hepatitis B virus. Why? Because this hepatitis B virus also can synthesize the DNA from the RNA. Okay, only in case of hepatitis. You will see the synthesis of the again reverse process synthesis of the DNA from the RNA. What type of polymerase does it require? It requires the RNA dependent DNA polymerase. Now, this is very much important. Okay, you will see the synthesis of the DNA from the RNA. Okay, or you can say it is actually the reverse transcriptase. That is reverse, reverse transcriptase. Okay. Now, that's very much important. You can say RNA dependent DNA polymerase or reverse transcriptase that only present in the hepatitis B virus. So, this is an exception case about the hepatitis B virus. So, this is all about the viral messenger RNA synthesis. If you still have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.